right? All right, um, just give me a second before we start this question. All right, so this question is question number nine. All right, here we're asked Hooke's Law Equation. So we want to know what is Hooke's Law Equation. So here, Hooke's Law, to understand Hooke's Law, first we should understand elasticity. Elasticity is a property of material by virtue of which it restores its natural size. So this is the key here. Excuse me. So the material restores its natural size and shape or dimension on removing the deforming force. So a force which has a tendency to change size and shape of the body. So Hooke's law often we relate it to a spring. So we have some spring attached to a mass. And this spring has a spring constant. So K and there's some force acting on the spring F and there is a change in distance of the object because the force will pull on the object over here so force and this is kind of the setup. And there's going to be some change in distance. Or, yeah, yeah. So here, this elastic force, which acts against the deforming force, brings the body back to the original shape. So, so we're talking about the elastic force, and then there's the deforming force. So Hooke's Law gives a relationship between the force applied to an unstretched spring and the amount the spring is stretched. So Hooke's law of force needed to extend or compress a spring is directly proportional to the extension or compression of the string. So here we're given kind of a little diagram and some explanation here. So essentially what the equation that for Hooke's law is force is negative k delta x. And we can kind of think about this. So if, if delta x pulls in that direction, so in the direction illustrated here, so let's draw that again in green. So if we have Hooke's Law pulling in this direction, we know that the spring is going to be stretched. So there's going to be a force, a restoring force. So here we're defining this as force of the spring. So I'll write that down here. S. So if we have a stretched spring, let me just erase this a little bit, make some space. Um, we know that the, if a spring is stretched, so I'll draw something like this. We know that the force is going to be pulling in this direction. And that's why there is a negative sign right here. Because if we have a positive delta x in this direction, we're, we'll, we'll, we're going to be pulling the spring in this direction. That means the spring is going to be stretched. The force that the spring has, the restoring force, is acting in the opposite direction. Similarly, if we were compressing the spring, so let's say we were compressing, it was like super compressed, we know that that means we're pushing the, f the, the, f the applied force, so we'll call this FA, is pushing in this direction, FA. That means the change in delta X is also in this direction, so this is negative direction. The left is negative, the right is positive. Therefore, if we have a negative delta X over here, it cancels out with this negative 
and we end up with a positive spring force or um, restoring force and the spring for, for restoring force will be pushing back right so it'll be acting to the right side um, for this spring so the general formula that you really need to know is the one on the bottom of the screen so I'll highlight this for you so this is the equation for Hooke's law um, and essentially it's the spring constant times change in delta x so distance um, and you'll get the spring force or restoring force. So just quickly outline um, Hooke's law. What Hooke's law is, it gives us the relationship between the force applied in an unstretched spring and the amount the spring is stretched. So if we had some if we had some constant and a delta x, we can calculate the spring force and, and if we're given let's say spring force and the delta x, we can calculate the spring constant and so on. So this is, will depend on what the question is giving you, which values are given, and you can just plug these in and manipulate the equation to get the answer. So great job. The answer is correct. So I think that's all I'd like to say for this question. I'll mark this question as correct and move on to the next question.